Assalamu alaikum, uh, my name is Zuhayb Hassan and in this video I will show you how to create MS loopbacks and use virtual PCs for your testing purposes in GNS3. First of all I will tell you about some virtual PCs. It is an open source software which you can have it from internet. Uh, I have created a startup VPC file which comes with it but I have modified it for my own purposes as uh, it has nine PCs but I have created only eight PCs uh, for my own labs uh, these uh, these eight PCs are divided into two subnets 192.168.10.0/24 and 192.168.20.0/24 uh, I will open the VPC exit to start these PCs. Okay. Now I will tell you how to create MS loop bags in Windows 7. Also, we can create these MS loop bags in XP through hardware wizard. So steps are almost the same. So now I will create a MS loop back on my uh, operating system. First of all, we have to go to run and type cmd command prompt. Here we have to give a command of hdwwz hardware wizard. We stand for hardware wizard. Okay, it will open a wizard. So we will install uh, we will choose install the hardware that I manually selected from the list because uh, it is a loopback which is already built in, in our operating system so which is provided by um, Microsoft so we will choose uh, install the hardware here we have to go to network adapters uh, network adapters Click next. It will give a list of MS uh, different kinds of adapters we can have, but we have to choose MS loopback from it. Okay, we have to go uh, to Microsoft as a manufacturer, and we will choose MS loopback as we are using MS operating system. MS loopback adapter. Click next. Okay. It will create a loopback, but in order to use it, we have to restart our operating system. So I have already created two or three loopbacks for this video, so I will use them. But after creating the loopback, you will use them after restarting your operating system. So in this video, I won't do it. Uh, let me check. We have created okay. Uh, local area connection 2 is showing as the new created loopback. I have also created uh, two loopbacks, uh, namely as uh, MS loopback 1 and MS loopback 2. Uh, we can verify it. Okay. Uh, these two loopbacks. I will use them in this video. Okay, now I will create a test folder in which I will save my configuration and topology. And then did test. Uh, now I will open my GNS3 software. It is prompting me to create a new project, uh, save NVRAMs and other disk files. So whenever I give a command to my router for saving running configuration, it will save it in NVRAM uh, and or disk as a startup configuration file. And automatically it will export it to that folder. So uh, Name or project name is test, and I will save this project in my test folder. 
which I have created on desktop. There it is. Okay. So <coughs> now I have. I will tell you how to create uh, uh, PCs to emulate as a cloud. Go to Edit and uh, into Symbol Manager. I have already emulated many things here and added many other uh, devices in my decorative nodes so for this lab I will only use uh, the PC as computer I will add it I have already added you will can you can add it by doing this so I have already done it and named it as PC the main thing you have to do is to create a cloud for that PC so that PC or that symbol can emulate a cloud so we can use our virtual PCs or MS blue bags for and merge them with that cloud uh, as a demonstration uh, I have added a PC like this uh, which is named by default as computer I will name it as uh, VPC sorry VPC virtual PC and emulate it as a cloud type is cloud and apply it so I have created a VPC and named it as cloud or oh, as a, oh sorry I have to say emulate it as a cloud so okay uh, that is showing somewhere around uh, yeah okay now I will add a router 2691 I have uh, added uh, its image in GS3 that one so I have also created a, a set uh, it will PC value and because your PC will almost go to stuck state so I will tell you how to choose an enter PC for your router okay 2691 I have added it in my topology and from here you can select an enter PC value I have already cal calculated it so I virtual PC here here and here I will name it uh, as MS loopback 1 ok MS1 Uh, I can't give it a space. I can't give space in it. So only M S. Okay. Change host name to M S two. And give it U P C virtual P C one. Okay, now uh, we have to configure these uh, clouds which are showing as PCs in our topology. Uh, so, first of all, we have to configure ports so our uh, VPCs can integrate with these clouds. Uh, I will give a command show, it will tell me what local ports and remote ports these PCs are using. So, through these ports, we can integrate these clouds with these PCs so first of all uh, I am as I am configuring VPC so we will double click VPC and VPC1 it will take us to configuration settings for our port let's check okay we, we have to go to NIO UDP and here is the important thing its local port will become our cloud remote port so we are going to use VPC1 
in our video so we will choose local port 2000 20000 sorry or uh, as our remote port in our cloud so 20000 and 30000 for our local port as <coughs> it is a loopback so we will give an address uh, loopback address 127.0.0.1 and act okay I've applied it okay now we have to configure these two clouds with our loopbacks which we have created so double click on loopback uh, sorry ms1 and again wait this time we will use ethernet because Mm -hmm. This cloud will be <coughs> in this uh, this cloud and our MS loopback adapter will be integrated through Ethernet. So I will choose MS loopback one and add it, apply it, and similarly in MS two I will do the same thing. <coughs> MS go back to add it and apply it. Okay, we are almost done here. Now we have to attach these pieces to our router. By default, this router has only two fast Ethernet ports in it FA, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, and fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So I have to add a one for one of them. And these are three PCs which will use fast Ethernet. So I have to add a slot in that router for fast Ethernet. I will have to go to slots and add a slot of NMF uh, one FETX, which stands for fast Ethernet. Okay, I will apply it. And now I have three fast ethernet interfaces the added one is fast ethernet one slash zero okay now i have to add these pcs to or attach these pcs to my router through fast ethernet but i will do it manually okay that is giving us the ms loopback address through ethernet so i will add it to fast ethernet zero zero It will show okay. They are they are added. So now similarly pass Ethernet zero slash one. Okay, I think. And similarly PPC one and pass Ethernet one slash zero. Added. Okay. Now I will in this version of uh, EPC. Oh, sorry, GNS3. I have to extract my running configuration to my topology configuration folder so that it can save it as a startup configuration. For that, we have to go to this uh, this button, which is for exporting and importing startup configurations. Click it, extract to a directory, and the directory in which we are. Uh, saving our uh, project we have to go there and save it in test configurations folder which will save its startup configuration okay i can show it uh, show you startup configuration as map as i have done nothing on 